Hello, my name is Ben. So as we know, airbags have a tendency to start leaking. Like in this case, we do have a completely empty airbag. Let's pretend it is leaking. Let me explain you how we can cap it off so you could safely go to the service to have airbag replaced. Okay, so we do have that empty airbag. So let's begin with locating the airlines on top of the airbag. Here we have two connections, two airlines. We're gonna need to cap them off. We do have adjustable wrench, so we could undo the airline. Undo the fitting. Remove the airline from the fitting. Okay, so after we remove the airlines, Slide those nuts deeper on your airlines. Bend the airline over. Take a zip tie. Loop it around. Put a couple zip ties per each airline. Do the same with second airline. And let's put some tape around the zip ties to make sure they will not slide away. And let's tape together those both airlines so they would not wiggle around that much. So that's it. We do have capped off our airlines. This airbag is empty. All other airbags are full. We're, we're safe to drive to service. Before we drive to service, let's make sure we did a good job. Let's have the truck started. Let's release trailer brakes. Pressure staying above 100 PSI, so that's good. We do have these airbags pumped up. This one is empty. This one is full. And our airlines are capped off. So we are safe to drive the service. I hope you find my channel helpful. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video with other drivers. Drive safe.